good morning and salutations and all the good things in life. Welcome to day two of albums that are 45 years old and from 1978. That's right, we're doing 1978. Pete Pardo and Secret Tranquility is doing albums that are 40 years old. Well, he did albums that are 40 years old. I think it's for uh, March. He's doing albums that are 30 years old. So I decided to do 40, 45. So, and 78 is basically around the time that I was starting to get really serious in the music. Hadn't just got into a lot of bands yet, but uh, I was just starting out, you know. I started out with Kiss, uh, Black Sabbath, ELO, Ghost. Yeah, of course, I've had a lot of uh, albums and a lot of bands to discover yet, and I'm still discovering bands from that era, from the 70s, 80s. So, but anyway, this is going to be going on all of March, all 31 days. Today, we're going with a band that started out, well, basically a progressive rock super group. Started in 1978, or 1977, actually. Ba consisted of uh, bass guitarist and, lyric, uh, and lyrics uh, John Wetton and drummer Bill Buford. They were joined by Eddie Jobs on keyboards and Alan Holdsworth on guitars. Of course, Holdsworth would leave uh, soon after and they'd continue. I think, uh, let's see, Buford would also. And be uh, uh, Holdsworth would not be replaced. Uh, Terry Bozeo, Terry Bozeo would come in on uh, drums. And they continue as a three-piece. Of course, the album that was released in 1978. Oh, sick. Is this baby UK? There's the four members on the four founding members. Of course, the, uh, you know, self titled album, fantastic album. I mean, it's too bad Holdsworth left, but you know. That's what happens sometimes when you get a super group going. You get a little bit of friction. People want to do things a certain way, I guess. Same with Buford. You know, Bill Buford, you know, for all his greatness, he tends to be a little, uh, well, high and mighty sometimes, I believe. Uh, the way I perceive him. But still a great, uh, great drummer. Uh, this album is really great. I mean, if you like progressive rock, this is the one for you. Of course, they do only two albums. Uh, Self-titled and Danger Money. Danger Money is good, though I don't enjoy it as much as I do the first one. Yeah, it starts out with In the Dead of Night. Into by the light of day, fantastic work there. Presto, Babus, and Rep Repress. Uh, 30 Years, Alaska is fantastic. You know, written by Jobson. Eddie Jobson uh, co wrote quite a few of these. Alaska was a solo work of his right there. Uh, Time to Kill, Nevermore, and then ends with the epic. Middle medication. Just awesome progressive rock. I mean, I listened to this again last night, and I remember the first time I heard it. I had it on uh, eight track. My friend Rick gave me a bunch of eight tracks, and uh, I remember listening to it, and I'm like, of course, my younger mind didn't get 
quite get what was going on. To me, it was just a bunch of uh, nonsense. <laughs> Nowadays, it's not nonsense. It's, it makes perfect sense. It's just great progressive rock. Uh, the band did, they did get back together. Let's see. Twenty eleven, see, two thousand nine, and then twenty eleven to twenty fifteen. Uh, of course, John Wetton died in, or passed away in twenty seventeen, along with Ellen Holdsworth. But uh, John Wetton, Eddie Jobson, and. Was like Terry Bazio uh, got bad together, did some reunion stuff, some live stuff. No, uh, no new uh, studio albums though, which is too bad. But they did some. It was like quite a few, three live albums. Yeah, they did Night After Night in 1979, Concert Classics, Volume 4 in 1990, Reunion, Live in Tokyo in 2013, and then Curtain Call in 2015. So, but with John's passing, no more reunions. But definitely check it out. It's worth a listen if you love progressive rock, if you love super groups, this is for you. UK, um, that's my number two. Tomorrow will be number three. I'm not going to give anything away, of course. Uh, please uh, subscribe, like the video, hit the notification bell, and leave your own uh, favorite from 1978 in the comments. Be interested to see it. Uh, trying to get some different stuff going here. Uh, passing with my passing with my mother's kind of thrown things out of whack in my life. Uh, she was a great person. You know, just trying to get back in the groove of things and honor her by continuing on. If you have a loved one, that, or if you've lost a loved one, that's the best way you can honor them. Continue on. Do your best. Live, live life to the fullest. Just live life to the fullest. Enjoy your life. Enjoy music, reading, you know, good movies. Just do your best. Anyway, I will see you again tomorrow on day three when we continue on in the month of March with the year 1978. I was uh, 45 years old. See you then.